Now, the National Council of Churches of Kenya, the NCCK, is now calling for the resignation of Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nahumeja for failing to avert the ongoing human resource crisis in the health sector. Now, the council has accused Nahumeja of laxity in managing the strike by doctors, clinical officers, and medical laboratory officers unions, which has left thousands of Kenyans unable to access treatment. The clergy also won cabinet secretaries for agriculture and his transport counterpart to step aside following the uh, fake fertilizer scandal and increased road carnage witnessed in recent months. We begin our broadcast with our very own Laura Tiano. As more health unions join in the ongoing strike, sending Kenyans who are seeking medical care into a state of confusion, NCCK has castigated health CS Susan Nakumicha for failing to tame the ongoing stalemate. <laughs> NCCK Nairobi Region Chairman Alphos Kanga says the wanton suffering endured by patients in public hospitals should be enough reason for the CS to vacate office. If I was the Minister of Health this time, either if one person died in some countries because of there's some, something wrong, either she fixes it or steps out. Simple. It is not the people of my caribou who are suffering. A bishop can afford to go to Aga Khan Hospital, but a, a, the grandmother who the Uriel Koro Pale Machinani cannot afford. So we want to see the president talk about it, solve this problem, let people live well in this nation. The men of cloth also raised concerns over agriculture CS mythical in tourist failure to rein in on those involved in the suspected fake fertilizer fiasco. <laughs> Kanga accused the CS of shielding individuals who are out to swindle unsuspecting farmers through the government subsidy fertilizer program. Mbolea ilitoka ilpeanwa with the systems that we're supposed to be doing. They have the accountability. They have who are the storekeepers. They have the lorries that transport it. The means of agriculture should not come and tell us ilikuwa ikatembea. The means of agriculture would have come and told us this is what happens and either so and so has been sacked or himself is stepped down. Under the rising statistics of road carnage, the NCCK officials say transport CS Kipchumba Morkoman has work to do to tame the situation. By late March this year, more than 1,000 people had died in road accidents, way higher than trends in previous years. The rate of accidents in Kenya can be measured with the rate of corruption in this country. We must have consultated effort with the police and NTCA and all the systems concerned because there must be something wrong. For those vehicles to do what they are doing right now, either things have gone out of hand. Despite the mounting pressure, there has been no direct response from President William Ruto on the three issues of health, fertilizer, and road carnage. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.